Hello. Um, I thought I would do a video explaining how I uh, got a live set together and performed it and um, streamed it using audio through my computer and mixing it together and using multiple instruments from home. Um, a few people have asked me, a few friends of mine that are wanting to do gigs at the moment while we're in isolation have been asking how the, um, how I put some stuff together. So I thought I'd make this maybe as a resource, maybe it'll help you. Um, if I can be concise enough, <laughs> I'll try. Um, so um, I'll go through it in three chunks. The first chunk will be um, getting audio in and mixing it together. The second chunk will be adding um, a camera and visuals with that and um, streaming it out. And then the, the last one will be getting it to Instagram and like um, making sure it's streaming on those services. Um, Cool. All right. So let's start with the audio. So um, I just uploaded the set if you want to watch it or if you're keen on that at all. Um, it was just me and two other friends playing um, my solo music, um, but in a kind of like a stripped down band environment. So I had an electric drum kit in here that I just got recently that um, I was triggering sounds in my computer from and then I had um, bass and guitars and I had three vocal um, singing harmonies and, and stuff like that. Um, so it was pretty easy just plugging in everything for that. I didn't use any amps or pedals. I just did all the effects in the computer just because I just wanted it to just be able to play the songs and move through and because I could pre-set up the, um, the computer session to have all the sounds preloaded and ready to go for each song. Like I didn't have to worry about that stuff. Um, anyway, but yeah, you could use pedal. You can use, didn't do whatever you want. Anyway, I plugged in. So yeah, guitars and bass and stuff just went straight into my sound card here. And then I had three vocal mics all going in. So yeah, I was just plugging them into my interface. Um, so that's pretty easy into your interface and then you can use, I used Ableton to mix this all together. Um, I've found that I've gotten good at um, setting up live sets in Ableton, but obviously you can use whatever software is comfortable for you. Um, what I found in Ableton, it was easy to um, set up preset sounds for each song and switch between them easily and use a MIDI controller to be able to switch between all the sounds. Um, I might not go into too much detail as to how I um, did that, but if you have questions, then you can ask me because um, I was able to, for each instrument, I was able to assign a one fader and as I moved the fader, all the sounds for all the different instruments would change to be preset for the next song. So it just made it easy and didn't mean I have to fiddle around changing sounds too much. Um, yeah. We can actually test it here. I think if I move this here, I'll get a tremolo sound and then I move it back and I get my normal sound again. So, yeah, that was kind of what was going on for all the other instruments. Um, yeah. So, yeah, all the sounds went into Ableton um, in here and here's the set and then I recorded a little bit of it just so I could... Um, um, we did like a rehearsal and so I um, recorded that and then was able to kind of mix the set before we actually went live and so I was able to mix each sound for each song and have that all set up so when we did it live it was all saved from that session so yeah so all the sounds were coming into here and so yeah I was just mixed it together in Ableton and then um used the but uh the the trickier what, what wasn't so easy was getting the audio out of Ableton into the streaming program that I used, which was called Ecamm Live. Um, so I needed a program to link between Ableton and Ecamm. And so I found this program called Loopback. Um, Loopback is like an audio routing program. Um, I'm not sure in whether in, you can just do it natively in Windows, but um, this seemed to be the easiest way to do it. In Mac, I used... Um, loop back to take the audio out here, as you can see from Ableton, and you can do it with any application. You just add a add a source and that becomes like your your input for Ecamm. So I just pointed um, the output of Ableton to be the output and then, yeah, that was able to be sent to Ecamm, which was the streaming software. Um, so let's go to Ecamm. Um, 
So yeah, this is eCam. There's also another program called OBS, which you can use, which people have figured out how to work for whatever they're doing. Um, I just couldn't figure out how to get um, an external camera to work, which is what I did. I'm using a DSLR to connect to the computer and I just couldn't get it to show up on on OBS. Um, but that's a free software. This isn't free, but you, um, eCam, but you can get a 14-day free trial and I think it's pretty cheap beyond that as well. And um, so, yeah, it's good. To, it would be good if you just want to do one gig and try it out. Um, anyway, so, yeah, eCam works pretty easily with this stuff. There's like a setting here to select where the audio is coming from. So I selected it to loop back, which meant all the audio mixed from Ableton was coming into here. And then I set my camera to be the Canon camera, which I just connected via USB. I was so using this DSLR camera. And then, yeah, you can also just use a webcam camera or whatever as well. Um, and yeah, then in Ecamm, it's pretty simple. You can just um, log into, if you want to just go live on things like Facebook or Twitch or Periscope and or whatever or Restream, um, you can log in directly in Ecamm to those programs and just hit go live and you'll go live on them. But if you want to go live on Instagram, which is what I had to do, you have to use a separate website um, after all of this. Um, so yeah. Putting it together in here was pretty easy. Just select the camera input and zoom and there's other settings that you can change around. And um, yeah, I zoomed it out a bit so it would fit on the um, Instagram screen rather than getting cropping it because it's like a small and it's like a portrait view and I wanted a landscape view so I zoomed it out here. Um, um, yeah, so if you want to go live on Facebook, that's pretty easy. If you want to go live to Instagram, uh, I had a, did a bit of a search and I found that the best way would be to go to this site, which is called instafeed.me um, forward slash RTMP, which is like the street, the way it streams, um, the streaming method. Um, so here's Instafeed and you just log in as your Instagram account and then... If you want to stream from e Ecamm to this and then this will take you, this will stream to Instagram. So what you need to do is um, copy this address here and then copy the stream key. You have to hit create broadcast first to get the stream key, but you copy the address um, here and then you enter it into Ecamm and then you also will then copy the stream key and then enter that into Ecamm and it'll be down in the bottom corner of the of the video screen in Ecamm and you enter both those things and hit go stream and then it'll stream it to um, Instafeed and then you're able to then, Instafeed will stream it to Instagram. So yeah, that's how I got audio from my black box of a room into Ableton and then out into the world onto Instagram. I thought it was a good challenge to not use the default um, audio and camera on your phone and, and try to find a way to get a full band kind of mixed sound to be streamed to people to watch. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions, ask me. Um, this is my first time really talking through a process, um, so I hope I was somewhat concise. Um, I'll try and edit it so it makes somewhat sense, but if you have any questions about anything, just let me know and, yeah... That's it. If you want to check out the live set, go ahead. And um, yeah, hope you have hope you have a good life out there in the internet world. Take it easy, and I'll see you. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.